I got it, 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 da 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 da. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Now, hopefully you read the title and you know what I got. Ha ha ha. All right. Why am I so excited? I'm so excited because this was not the easiest thing to find. And when I stopped looking for it, I finally got it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, ha, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes, like, y'all know how I get about food if you don't. Know how excited I get about food. Hi, my name is Gadget Trish, and you are watching Green is the New Lean. And I love, and I love taste tests. While I am telling you this story, let me straighten out the kitchen. Because let me, actually, let me show you the behind. Whoop. See, this is why the camera's falling. Because there's some behind the scene insanity going on right now. So I was in so happy about this situation. I'm going to take video of what, how, what ghetto set up I set up to make this possible. Because I just couldn't find everything. I just got in the house. Oh my gosh. Don't pay, don't, don't pay attention to that mess. But if you want to see how I get that mess together, sub to my other channel. Mirrors of my mind. It's a lot going on here. Me throwing stuff on a ladder and some lights. And that's how we got this set up. Cause I couldn't wait. I just want to eat. I just want to eat the brand new and improved Beyond Burger. Made with avocado oil. I didn't even really have makeup on. That's how you know I really wanted to do this. Let me just put this on the grill, AKA my pan, while I straighten up the living room and talk about how this was possible. Okay. It still smells the same. I just want to throw that out there. It still smells the same, but just let me put it back on the pan. Actually, does the, does the kitchen look better? Yeah, it's back to normal. I said, I can't, I ain't got no time to make things look nice. We just going to record. It's usually not this junky up here, but just excuse. Oh, actually, it doesn't look that bad. The real junk's on this side, but y'all can't, can't see that. Can y'all? If you can't act like you don't see it. So in the meantime, let's show what else I got to go with this. Pretzel buns, also sold at Whole Foods. And Good Planet Vegan Cheddar Cheese, which is also on sale today. So if you are watching it for the first couple of days, head over to Whole Foods. Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of this bag and it's just not working. <laughs> like, duh. Let me just calm down. Like, for those who know me, my favorite kind of gifts is food. And what's better than food is homemade food. So, this will qualify as food. And then, but it's not homemade. Where are we going with this? The point is, I get excited over food. I was like, what was the point of you saying all that? <laughs> Anyway, let me check on the burgers. Oh, you know what? I just thought about it. Do I season it? That is a good question. One second. I just want to see the sodium levels here. Damn, 14%. All right, so since there's 14% sodium in there, which is 310 milligrams, I won't put salt on it, but I'll put like some, some, some uh, cayenne pepper. What else? What else do people put on burgers? Try salt and pepper. All right, we're not gonna make it super fancy. I just put like, you know what? For the one we're testing without nothing, I'm gonna put nothing on it. And then the other one, I'll put some cayenne pepper. Let me just cook the burger and come back. Cause what are we talking about at this point? I just want to like point out that these are some juicy freaking looking burgers. I don't know why one size can come better than the other. This is supposed to be the one with the bun. This one is seasoned with thyme and cayenne. I usually put like onion powder, but I don't feel like 
going through the drama with the onion powder. It's really powdery. I just wanted to point out the meatiness. It is really meaty. Wow. I am back. Plain burger, nothing added to it. Let's just get into it. Love it or leave it. I'm really surprised this is good. There's no seasonings. It's definitely meatier. I think that was actually noted on here. Yes, new, meatier, and juicier. That it is. It is good. Look, it even looks like real meat. Here we go. Mmm. This is good. This is definitely... It's better than the first one. I'm even more impressed that there's no seasoning that's really good. Wow. All right, let's try it with ketchup. With pretzel buns, I would suggest toasting it just a little bit. It just takes it to another level. Um... Oh, this is the ketchup that I use. Also at Whole Foods. Almost everything comes from Whole Foods. Whole Foods and Orchard Grocer. Those are my go-to places. Um, and Aldi's and Trader Joe's. But like new products like this, it's Orchard Grocer and Whole Foods. In, in New York. Unless you're visiting your family in New Jersey. Go there. But this still came out. Oh, I hate when the ketchup is running out. Oh. Doesn't this ladder have holes so I could have it upside down? Come on. I used to dream. Some of my friends at DJ on Session Head right now. That's why I have my headphones in. Not that y'all care. You didn't even ask. Trisha, just eat the freaking burger. Mmm. I need more ketchup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I think I have another one. Knife drop, not safe. I got back up to back up. Hashtag urban pepper prepper. We definitely need some more ketchup. Fresh bottle. Again, it's not again not sponsored. We're always looking for sponsors here. Y'all could even throw in some super stickers if you like. Oh, too much ketchup. But is there such thing as too much ketchup? I don't even think I need to taste the other burger. This is fire. Mmm. 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 Just simple ketchup. Bun, no seasoning. I like to char it up a little bit though. Mmm, oh, oh, mmm. This is what happens when you shoot out of excitement because I'm not hungry. I came from my aunt house. My aunt can cook. She gave me some awesome curry chickpeas, a thing of collard greens, and some awesome rice. I'm not hungry at all. I'm just greedy though. <laughs> because I am a little full. Let's go get the other one. I'll be right back. All right. I am back. This is vegan mayo. The better cheddar for a good plant. Not better cheddar. Just a good planted cheddar cheese. Um, vegan mayo, just in case you're curious. Follow your heart. Avocado. It's empty now. But if you guys know me, I got back up. Fresh one. All right, as if you care. Oh, lettuce, tomatoes, cheddar, vegan mayo. And of course we gotta get the ketchup. I can't promise I won't be as crazy doing a taste test like this. Like, y'all have no idea how upset I was so I couldn't find this. And now. I 
as the ketchup is oozing out because I love ketchup. Here we go. Mm. Look at this vegan burger goodness. I would highly recommend don't put one drop of salt in this burger. It is fine as it is. Mmm. It's so meaty. It smells very similar to the old one when it's raw, but I still taste a little of the aftertaste of the old one, but it's still better. Beyond Burger. I just want to give y'all a shout out for making a really good, 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 good burger. It's definitely bigger and juicier and tastier and much better oil. And I, I don't know if I'm going to eat the rest today because I, like I said, I ate before I got here. I was just so excited. I couldn't wait the next day. And on that note, Gadget Trish is out. Bye. Oh, oh wait, that's the wrong outro. <laughs> Thanks. Vegan. <laughs>